Hello everybody and welcome to The Choice is Yours. Let me welcome our host tonight, Ernest Perks. All right, everyone, welcome to The Choice is Yours. For whether you want syrup or jam as your toppings on your pancakes, The Choice is Yours. I'm your host, Ernest Perks, the man with the perks. The secret word of the day is forks, F-O-R-K. And without further ado, let's welcome our special guest of the evening. Our first guest is here. Hello, sir. How's about telling us your name and a little bit about yourself? <laughs> Hi, Ernest. I'm Reginald Pierce. I'm a high school student, and I like rugby and snowboarding. Yeah. So, Reggie, do you, do you mind if I call you Reggie? Yeah. Uh, not really. Yeah. Okay. All right, Reggie. So, you say you like snowboarding. What might be a highlight of your experiences? Rural Ernest. Last winter, I was snowboarding from the top of Mount Doom. I was going so fast that I couldn't stop. Needless to say, I shot down that hill like a bullet right into the parking lot. I'm thankful that no officers got on my way. Okay. That's a very scary story, Reggie. <laughs> It's too bad a candy store wasn't in your way. You could have pulled a hit and run and knocked him over. That would have been all right. Uh, okay, Reggie, do you like high school? What can you tell us about your experiences? It's all right. I'm currently taking carpentry, social studies, drama, and biology. Some teachers just give you the entire semester of workload on the first day. Others just talk so slow, they put you to sleep. Other than that, it's pretty good. Carpentry, huh? What kind of things do you build? Okay. Well, I build tables, chairs, and a cabinet big enough to house your ego. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was pretty all right, Reggie. Do you have to act like you like drama? No, but I have to act like I like your show. Ha, ha, ha. All right, that's enough of that. But now that we've got to know each other, let's play The Choice is Yours. Maybe win some money. Are you all right with that? For sure, let's play. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. Earlier, you selected Canadian history for your topic question. What value will you be going for? $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90. or $90 whole dollars? Obviously, the lower the value of the question, the easier the question will be. You have five chances to be the other contestant. You get two in a row wrong, however, and you'll be gone faster than a cookie from a cookie jar. You get four in a row right, and you'll have the opportunity to compete with the other contestant for the $2,000, $5,000, or the $10,000 prize. Let's begin. I'll go for 70. Alrighty, so for $70, what was the name of the famous Avro aircraft that the Canadian government scrapped in the 1980s? Um, I'm sorry, your time is up. It was the Avro Arrow. What would you like to go for next? I'd like to go for 50. Yeah, all right, for $50, what was the name of Canada's first 
Prime Minister. Was it John A. MacDonald? That is actually correct. I guess your social classes are paying off after all. It's so curry. All right. Pick another one, Reggie. How about eighty? All right. For eighty dollars, Canada's independence came about in what year? Eighteen sixty-seven. The day your mom was born. Well then, you have a hundred and thirty dollars. What would you like to go for next? I'd like to go for ninety. All right. What World War II offensive in Southern Europe did the Canadian forces have to stop and wait for General Patton? Yeah. Okay. I think it was the Italian offensive. Yeah. Yes, it was. All right, you have $220. You can take that money and leave, and I'd much prefer that you do, or you can come back later and try for the, either the $2,000, $5,000, or the $10,000. And I'd rather you save us the aggravation and just leave with the money. However, I will see you later, Reggie, and I wish I could say that it's been nice having you here, but that would be a lie. So please leave now. Save us the aggravation of having to stare at your ugly face. And have a good day. Bye. That's pretty good. So glad this is on film. He's a bear. How can you talk? All right, Olaf. It sounds like you got a dedicated fan base. That's very all right, Olaf. Now, you say that you're engaged in army cadets. Tell me, how are you liking that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, Olaf, would you be so kind as to tell our viewers what an MRE is and what an FTX is, please? Well, I guess it proves the old saying. The Canadian Army has done so much for so long with so little, it can now do anything with nothing forever. Well, anyway, you guessed the secret word fork. You're now $100 richer. Good job, buddy. Now, with introductions out of the way, let's get to the question and answer session. Earlier, you chose video games as your topic. What dollar amount would you be willing to start off betting? So, Olaf. What is the name of the continent on the Elder Scrolls series? Yes, it is. So, Olaf, 
What three animals were the main characters in the Sly Cooper series? No, no, it's, the, I mean, the game Sly Cooper, not Sheldon Cooper. No, sorry, Olaf. The answer is raccoon, turtle, and hippo. Yep. yep. All right, you have one wrong. Get one more wrong and you're out. All right, Olaf, what four games mimicked ping pong, frogs, Asian martial arts, and cat and mouse, respectively? Perfect. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay, Olaf, let's see if you can do this next one. What were the Nintendo characters that were a giant turtle and a giant monkey, respectively? All right, that's $220. What will you be betting next? Wilbur and Orville Wright were known as the Wright Brothers. What two Nintendo characters were known as the Mario Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Olaf. Mario is a Nintendo character, but Linguini, that's an antipasta. You have two wrong. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Wait, don't go. We still want you to win some money, Olaf. Okay, for $100, what fast food franchise sells foot-long sandwiches and has the slogan, Eat Fresh? All right, I've just been reminded that you have $320. That'll let you compete at the end for the Bucket of Bleach Challenge. Good luck, Olaf. All right, 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 all right. Let's begin the Bucket of Bleach Challenge. Somewhere in this studio is a bucket of bleach. The first one to discover the Bucket of Bleach wins a mystery prize. These men right here have to compete each other to find it. Ready, get set, go!
Alrighty. Congratulations, contestants. You found the bucket of bleach. And now for the prize. Reginald, you found the bucket of bleach and won the satisfaction of winning. Good job. Olaf, my buddy, you found the money beneath the bucket of bleach. How you didn't see that, I'm not sure. You must be legally blind. Never come on this show again, please. Thank you for joining us on The Choice Is Yours, where whether you want the money, if whether you want the bucket or the $10,000, the choice is yours. Obviously, you chose wrong, mother insulter. Now, have a good day, God bless, and join us next time when our sponsor, Big Al, comes in and donates your possessions. That's right, you've been robbed already. No refunds. Good night.